then for about 40 years or so, well, maybe not quite that long, but a very, very long time was Powell and Pressburg. But does that mean anything to you as a, as a collaboration of British uh, filmmaking? They worked together on, on many, many, many films. And um, A Matter of Life and Death was, it wasn't their first, I don't know, I can't quite remember, but it was a very early one anyway. It may not have been their first. And it was made in 1946. And uh, we were talking before about propaganda yeah. films. And this is something that could sort of, you know, be classed as a, as a little bit of a propaganda film. Because although the war was over, the Brits and the Americans had to get on with, with each other. Because there were a lot of Americans stationed in Britain. And the population, you know, were a bit against them. Because there were so many Americans in Britain at that time. And so, the, you know, somebody thought we should make a film about this. We should make a film about British-US relations. Okay, so it's a little bit of a propaganda film, if you like. Um, great film. Has anybody seen it? Yeah, you've seen it? Yeah. Again, you know, I mean, it's 1946, and it has a lot of trickery in it. A lot, a lot of... Melies, if you remember him, with his voyage to the moon and things like this. It has a lot of that in it. Is Melies was a special effects guy? Yes, he was. He's the early special effects guy, exactly. And there's an awful lot of special effects. Obviously not CGI, you know, that didn't exist at the time, so they had to build everything. Not quite like Melies, it wasn't that primitive, but... Um, I'm going to show you in a minute to see where you can see that, where you can see the trickery. Again, cinematography, really, really brilliant cinematography by Jack Cardiff, who you may know, very, very famous, if not the most famous um, British cinematographer. And um, in fact, Britain has produced an astonishing number of excellent cinematographers. So maybe one of you, you know, will follow in their footsteps. You never know. So anyway, um, brilliant stuff, and uh, very, very influential in popular culture at the time and later on. See Wikipedia I put in there if you want to do a bit of research. It's quite good, the article about it, it's quite good. Other Powell and Pressburger films, um, just two I mentioned, very famous ones, The Red Shoes, that somebody might know about the ballerina that can't stop dancing. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Excellent film, and then Peeping Tom, very controversial. They were often at the forefront, you know, of, of stuff, either censorship stuff, you know, they always took things just a little bit further. And they were at the forefront of, um, of the mil Miliesian, if you like, um, special effects. So shall we have a look at, um, at a scene? What's important in this film, it is that it's a film that's partly in black and white and partly in colour. No. He did well, yeah, he hand coloured, of course, his frames. These were filmed in colour, yeah? So yes, I mean, in a way it's very similar, but they had, they had uh, colour film stock and black and white film stock. And they mixed it together, and that was, as far as I know, the first time that has been, that was done. Yeah, at that time, 1946. So, um, what it is, it's a matter of life and death, and it's about heaven and earth, basically. Okay? Heaven is where you go when you die, and earth, of course, yeah, when you live. However, they've switched it round. Heaven, it's never called heaven in the film, by the way. It's obvious that it is heaven, but it's not a very nice place to be. So, heaven is not positive, and it's black and white. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. So, heaven is black and white and very regimented. Somewhere you really don't really want to be. And earth is is luscious, verdant, you know, beautiful colours. <coughs> it's where you want to be. So that's quite nice. It's a nice inversion of what you know, what uh, what 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 is sometimes thought. And so I think he upset a lot of religious people. They upset him quite a lot of religious people at the time. They actually do mention heaven in it once. Uh, did they really? It was when, um, oh, well, maybe it was when, you know, where people start coming up the escalator? Yeah, okay. And it's got a very young Richard Attenborough. 
who's yes. standing in the inner circle and when they're looking down and he sort of looks up and goes, it's heaven, isn't it? So it's when all the American yes. pilots are coming up yes. along with all the... Oh, and, thank you. And it's, all, and it's got the contrast between all the American pilots, yeah. you know, who are all very pleasant but a bit stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the British pilots, you know, who are very upper class yes. and, aristoc- and aristocracy and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a very nice contrast. Yes, it's brilliant, yeah. Mm. And the contrast in it is, mm. but, you know, all of the contrasts are great.